Uh, hello friends, today in this tutorial I will be telling you that how to increase the speed of uh, mp3 audio file and also how to increase the speed inside the video file. So this is the audio file. So let me play this file so that you can hear the original volume of this file. Then let me play it. Uh, hello friends, today in this tutorial I will be telling you that uh, how to uh, record a video using your OBS studio. So this will be a completed, complete. Now guys, you can just hear me. Uh, there was a problem at the starting, my microphone was not connected. So now you can hear the voice here. In this video, we will be trying to increase the volume of uh, uh, MP3 audio file and also MP4 video file as well inside the video, whatever sound that you hear. We will try to increase that or decrease that. We will perform both the operations and we will also see how to do this process very fast without re-encoding the file using FFmpg library. So this is the original mp3 file, let me play it so that you can uh, hear Hello friends, today in this tutorial I will be telling you that this will be a... So this is the original volume of the file, we will try to manipulate this, either decrease it or increase it. And this is a video, if I play it... Uh, hello friends, today in this video is scratch. So now we will try to look at all the commands which are required to increase the volume or decrease the volume. So in the background guys we will be using this command which is sorry library which is ffmpg. So it's an open source library so make sure that you install it. Just download it and after that just cross check by going to command line and type ffmpg. So now after that wherever the files are present simply open command line here. And the very first command I will show you guys how to increase the volume of a mp3 audio file. This can be anything. It can be either wave, any extension of audio file. Let me type the command. By the way, if you want all these commands, I have given the link in the video description. This is my blog post where I have given step by step instruction. All these commands are available. So if you want these commands, you can go to the video description link to copy all these commands. So now let's get started guys. So in order to do this, so the very first command is ffmpg and then we will provide the input file name. So in this case the input file name is, uh, you can see this is output.mp3. So basically we will write here output.mp3 and after that here we need to apply the audio filter because we are manipulating the audio files so here we will write AF AF stands for audio filter so after you write this there is an option in order to increase the volume of the file so in order to increase the volume there is a volume option in FFmpg volume is equal to and basically guys uh, the default volume comes the default value is 1 so which is the default value, which is the default uh, volume of the file. So now to increase it, you can increase it by 1.5 or 2 like this. Or if you want to decrease it, you will like this 0 0.5. So basically this will decrease the volume. So in this case, we will try to increase it slightly. So we will type here 1.5 and close the single quote. After that, you just need to provide the output file name, which will be result.mp3. So this is the overall command, guys, ffmpg-i. This is the input file name. Then we are providing the audio filter, which is the volume. And we are increasing it slightly, which is 1.5. And this is the result file name, which is result.mp3. So if I execute this command, you will see that, guys, it has created this file which is result.mp3 so if I play this uh, I think we have made a mistake in this command let me type it once again
mm, I think this needs to be double quotes so dash i output dot mp3 and dash f volume is equal to 1.5 so now guys you can see that now this command works because this needs to be double quotes not single quote so this is the result dot mp3 if I play this file now uh, hello friends today in this tutorial I will be telling you that uh, so you can just spot the difference between these two files slightly the volume has been increased uh, hello friends today in this tutorial so now if I change the value even more let's suppose I change it to 6.5 so now if you hear it uh, hello friends today in this tutorial I will be telling you that how to so in this case guys you can see how loud the volume has become inside the mp3 file so in this easy way you can increase the volume very proficiently inside ffmpg with this simple command so i have shown you this command so you just need to change the volume parameter here to any parameter to any value of your choice let me change it to 12.5 so if i now here you will see how loud the volume will be uh, hello friends today in this tutorial I will be telling you that how to record so in this case guys you can increase the volume like this so it's very simple inside ffmpg now we will tackle the problem on how to decrease this so now to decrease this it is very simple as I already told you the default value is 1 now to decrease it we will decrease it let's suppose by if I make it 0 volume is equal to zero if i make this so now if i hear it so now you can see no volume is present so the volume is completely gone so we have completely removed this volume so it's that simple and let's suppose one is default here so if i decrease it by slightly 0.5 so now you will see that it will be slightly decreased if I hear it uh, hello friends today in this tutorial I will be telling you and if you now choose a value let's suppose 0 0.1 hello friends today in this tutorial I will be telling you that how to record so you can just see the difference guys between these two files the volume has been decreased inside the mp3 file this is the original uh, hello friends today in this tutorial I and this is the changed file uh, hello friends today in this tutorial so in this easy way guys you can do this process and to make it little more faster you don't need to re-encode the file so in order to not re-encode it every time you execute this command it is very important that you add this option so you provide the input file name which is output.mp3 and then you provide the filter dash filter and this will be audio filter so we will type colon a and then again you will type the volume filter is equal to 0 0.2 and just close the double quotes and now guys in order to not re-encode it we will use this simple syntax which is dash c colon a and then pcm underscore f32 le and then the output file name which will be result dot mp3 so execute this command so basically it is saying that uh, this uh, only exists for the wave file so basically if you have a wave file instead of a mp3 you can execute this command but for mp3 the previous command works exactly so you should definitely use this command for mp3 files but this command only works for wav files which is wav which is another extension for audio files and now coming back to the video file guys this will be completely the same for the video file as well uh, hello friends today so the command will be completely same but the file name will change which is video.mp4 and then uh, 
dash f for audio filter volume if you want to decrease it you will say 0 0.2 or 0 0.1 and then the output file name which will be result.mp4 so now guys you can see that it will create this output file which is result.mp4 if I play it uh, hello friends today in this tutorial I will be telling you that how to so you can see how the volume is decreased if you want to increase it it is very simple just increase it to uh, let's suppose 20.5 if you now play it uh, hello friends today in this tutorial I will be telling you that how to record a video using your so in this way guys you can see that how it is increased and now if you don't want to re-encode the video file to make it slightly faster you will add this option which is very simple which is video.mp4 this is input file name dash af volume is equal to 6.5 dash v codec so v codec stands for video coding and we just need to copy this from the original file and output.mp4 is the output file name. that's it so now exactly you can see how fast it took so if I play it uh, hello friends today in this tutorial I will be telling you that so in this case guys I have shown you all these commands in order to decrease or increase the volume of mp3 file or mp4 file inside ffmpg so please hit the like button subscribe the channel as well and uh, I will be seeing you in the next video. If you want these all these commands, I have given all these commands in the video description. This is the blog post. And I will be seeing you in the next video.